more people in the U.S. are following the dietary guidelines and making at least half of their grains whole. By far, the most popular grains in the U.S. are whole wheat, oats, and rice. However, a group of oldie but goodie grains are slowly making their way into Americans' diets. These are often referred to as the ancient grains. We talked with Mary Ellen Kamiri, a food science professor at the University of Maine's School of Food and Agriculture, to find out more about some of these grains. Turns out that many of these grains are gluten-free, thus are becoming attractive to those who seek a gluten-free diet. Grains like amaranth. Amaranth is a very trendy grain because it can grow in places that other plants can't grow. It's drought tolerant and can tolerate high levels of salt in the soil. It's also very environmentally friendly because places that couldn't produce food before now can do that without a lot of expensive irrigation using a lot of water. People were growing amaranth as early as 8,000 BC. When Cortez conquered the native people of Central and South America, he banned the production of amaranth. The grain went uncultivated for decades, which was too bad because it was a great source of nutrition for people in those areas. One of the nutritional benefits of amaranth is that we eat the whole grain. So we're getting all the antioxidants as well as the fiber that are in the outer hull, as well as getting the protein and starch that are inside the seed. Amaranth does not contain gluten, so it's not great for baking, but can be used in porridges, soups, and simple flatbreads. Buckwheat is also growing in popularity in the U.S. It's a funny little seed, but it's not a true grain. Its closest relative that we eat is rhubarb. Buckwheat is a great source of minerals like zinc, copper, and manganese. It's also high in protein. Buckwheat also does not contain gluten so it's used more for porridges, soups, and flatbreads. Buckwheat is typically de-hulled and ground into a flour. In fact, the French-inspired ploise is a nutty-tasting, bubbly pancake you'll find plenty of in places like Maine and Quebec. Up next is camet, also known as Corazon. Camet is a very beneficial grain because it is resistant to both salt and drought. It's closely related to wheat and has a very high protein score, comparable to milk protein. So those who are looking to embrace vegetarianism can add a bit of camet to their diet to help with their protein needs. Another one of these grains that is transitioning from the animal dinner to the human dinner is millet. Most people currently familiar with millet are probably putting it in their bird feeder. Millet is very nutritious and it's high in antioxidants, but since it has a very bitter taste, it's currently being used as more of a go-to grain where other crops can't be grown. Demands for these grains can be challenging to farmers because some of these grains will not grow outside of their climate. However, they are slowly finding their way into the mainstream diet due to their health benefits and exotic nature. So next time you're at the grocery store, remember a healthy eating pattern includes grains, at least half of which are whole grains. So consider complimenting your meal with a lovely side of amaranth.